Today we're going to look at this quick formatting session, which will be quick and simple, just to show you how to format the the text into numbers, into so the um, the numbers into currency, and to change the background color and the foreground color of text. We can merge cells and just look about moving things around a little bit. So it shouldn't take longer than about four minutes. So we'll get started. So first thing, a nice little tip. I've got something on January, something on February, something on March. These are all ice cream sales. If I want to select all of them, I hold down the shift key. So that's the shift key on the keyboard. And then I click on January here and you can see I've got them all selected. So click January, hold the shift key down, click on March and you can see I've got them all selected. So whatever I do with one will affect them all. So now I'm going to change the unit price. I'm just going to highlight unit price down like so. And then I'm going to use this little button here. Uh, to change the currency. So that's going to be uh, accounting. You can see I've got accounting at the top. So I'm going to do the same with these two here. So select both of them and click on that same button again. So give that a go right now. This last one is a percentage. So I'm going to highlight all of this here. And I'm going to change that to percentage by clicking on the percentage button just here at the top. I'll just highlight that so you can see that. So just click on the percentage button. You can see that's percentage. I want to increase the decimal places, so I'm going to click on the button to increase the decimal places. Just zoom in a little bit there, so you can see that's the button for increasing the decimal places. So let's just format total down to maximum. So these formulas here as currency. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do is click on this drop down list and I'll choose accounting this way. So that's another way that you can change the formatting. And the ice cream tax over here, I can change that to percentage. So now what I need to do is I need to put a header in here. So I'm going to move everything down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight this first row just at the top. I'm going to right click on the mouse. So it's pressing the right mouse button. I'm going to go down to and click on insert. And then where it says shift cells down, I click on OK. and It moves everything down. OK, so now it's ready to write in a heading. So I'm just going to drag this down a little bit. And I'm just going to type in. Um, yeah, ice cream sales. Okay, so there's ice cream sales. So I want this text to become one. I want to merge the cells across. So I'm going to highlight from A1 across to F1. And then at the top here, and I'll just zoom in so you can see, it's under the alignment section, that's the merge cells button. So have a look on your screen. It actually might say merge and center on your screen. So if you click on that, there we go, it might say merge and center just like it does there, and it merges them together. So now what do I want to do is I want to move this to the central point so I can use the align options. So these are all the align options here. So if I want to move it left or right or up or down, or whatever, I can use these buttons just here. In fact, the one I'm interested in is this one just here. So I'm just going to click on that button that puts that into the center. Great. And as you can see, is if you look at other ones, if I look at February and I look at March, you can see it's exactly it's doing exactly the same. So let's just select them all again by holding down January and put into March here. That's great. So now I want to change the color. So to change the background color, I can go up to here and I can use this paint bucket tool. So I use the paint bucket tool just here and then I can change the color. Now, if I want to absolutely stick to a particular color, I would go to more colors just down at the bottom here and then I can choose my colors from the more colors section. So if I just zoom in a bit, there we go. So you can see that here. So I can either do standard colors and choose any of these um, hexagonal sort of grid thing here, colors, or I can go to custom and I can mix my own color by dragging a color here and affecting the brightness of the color. If I must get an exact color, I would put it in red, green, and blue in here. So let's make mine a darker green. There we go, click on OK. Just zoom back again. So there we go. You see the background color is dark green. So I'm going to change the text color to white. So I click on this and I go to this format text here. So just zoom in a little bit. There we go. So this drop down list just here. And I choose white. And then I can use this button here to increase the size to make that bigger. If I want to change the font style, if I want to change the style of the font, I can click on this drop down list here. And I can choose the font styles here. So however I want to look at it. So I'm going to choose Arial Black. 
Incidentally, if I want to quickly go to a font that I already know, I can click into the top and say I know what I want Calibri. I can just type Calibri. OK, uh, if I don't want light, I want one of the other ones, uh, just normal Calibri. I can click on Calibri, I'd say as well. Right. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to make this one here a different color. So let's just highlight that and change the background to a light green. So we go to more colors and I'm going to go to custom and choose a green. And make a light green. Yeah, there we go. Right. And then this one here for the mint, I'm going to make a gray. So let's do that. So I'm going to click on this. And if you can do this as well, make that a gray. It's great. That's it. In fact, I'm just going to make that a darker gray so you can see that one, like that there. there we go. Click on this, a bit of a darker gray, that's it, so you can see that. Now, say, for instance, I want to be white and gray, white and gray, white and gray, all the way down. So, what I can do is I can highlight this down here, like so. I can then click on the button that's the Format Painter button. Let's zoom in so you can see it. It's that button there. It looks like a wallpaper paste button there. So I'm going to click on that and you see that there's marching ants. That's what I call them. That's what going around the selected area. I then can select and drag all the way down to the bottom. So that copies the formatting. So now it copies the look of the cells all the way down. Uh, just notice down here with count that it's also copied the pounds and pence. I don't want that. So I'm going to click on that and then go up to the top here where I can Go down and select general just here at the top. It's good. So now I've got that count there. Brilliant. And everything else will be the same. Uh, say, for instance, oh, I've got ice cream tax there. I just want to format that. So let's just do that. So I'm just going to format the backgrounds of that. Let me just format that as a. And you see, notice the colors just here. It's, there's my recent colors I can see. I just go and see. So you can see um, if I, so I don't have to worry about what colors I've selected. So I can go here. I'll go to my drop down list and I'll choose a darker green for that one. And for the font color, I'll choose white. And let's see if we align it. That's great. Excellent. Say, for instance, you wanted to muck around with this a bit more and get ice cream flavors on the left hand side, say here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on column A and go to insert. So, it inserts a whole column. And then what I'm going to do is highlight all of this here and merge the cells. So, we can click on the merge cells button. And then what I can do is I can click on this drop down list and I'm going to rotate text up. So I can literally now type the word flavors. Press enter and you see my text here is rotated up here like so. So what I'm going to do is just click on that and then I go to centrally align that and just make that a little bit thinner. And I'll tell you what, I'm just going to format the color of all of this on the left hand side to a dark Ray and a text white. There we go. So you get an idea of how to move things and push things around. If you wanted to get rid of a row or insert one, when you've got the white, gray, white, gray, it makes it a little difficult. For instance, if I think, yeah, you know what, I want to get rid of vanilla, so I'm going to highlight vanilla and then I'm going to right click, go to delete, shift cells up, so OK. You see, you've got to redo the formatting because the you know, the um, the white, the white, gray, white, gray, it's all put off there a little bit. So what I might need to do is just go to the format painter again and copy it all the way down. Like so make sure I change my age back to. There we go. So it gives you a rough idea. If you make any mistakes at all, remember, you've got your undo button at the top here, your magical undo button. You can also hold down uh, control. Uh, on the keyboard, which is, you can hold down the control key. Uh, that's it. And then you can press Z as well. So control. If you see, if I just hold that one there, so if I hold down control and Z on the keyboard, and as I do each time, it's undo. Control. If I hold down, you can see here, control, Z, Z. Yeah, it's, it's undoing. That's good. I think that's back to as it was. Yes, it is. It's, uh... So I hope that helps. Please, if you've got any questions or anything like that, please send us an email. Um, and then just I'll try and add extra uh, basic videos to the tutorials as well.
to help you understand. Just so you can really fully understand here, you can see that if you go to each January, February and March, there are different sheets here. Because what I've done on one sheet has affected all of the others. Let me just press escape. So I'm just pressing escape on the keyboard to get rid of the marching ants uh, around the outside here. So these these ants that were there. OK, so you see it's all the same on each one. So say, for instance, I want ice cream sales January. I can now add January because I've clicked on the January. And then if I go to Feb, ice cream sales. Feb, and if I go to March, ice cream sales, March. Great, and then we can add our totals, etc. in as well. Uh, remember, if you wanted to do word wrapping and put the word wrapping on, uh, the one way you can do it is when you're typing in ice cream. If you remember, after the M in cream, alt and enter to bring it down to a new line, and that turns on the word wrapping. Uh, if you want to use word wrapping, uh, then you can do it under, you know, if I can remember these ones, just here, you've got wrap text. Uh, so we've got the word wrapping there. And in fact, just here as well is wrap text. And I turned it off. I can turn it on again. That's that just this button just at the top here. Right. I think that's it. Board using up a lot, lot. And I think it's taken more than four minutes. I do apologize for that. But hopefully you got out something out of that uh, as well. Take care. Bye now.